box troll. <laughs> this is what you're doing with your day? You're becoming a box troll? <laughs> yes. Um, What's the problem? I can't get out of my box. <laughs> you're stuck like that. It's going to be hard to sleep in a box. I think it's time for some kids to go back to school. I'm just saying. Now you're Another summer week in the bag. Kids are getting crazy. They're making things out of boxes. Um, we went to Carowinds. Just a lot of craziness this week again. A lot of work that needs to be done. Some of it got done, not all of it got done, but you know, that's summer. That is summer. You know, when the kids are home, I try to spend more time. That's why we went to Carowinds this week. Try to spend more time with them and a little less on work, but then the work piles up like that pile behind me. So here's my pile of stuff for the TV segment. It's back to school backpacks, but we also, I'm having the three kids go with me on air, so I needed them to each wear something. So I have really cute outfits from Crew Cuts from J. Crew. So that's these right here that we've already tried on. Um, we have shoes, we have Stride Right Leap shoes for the little guy that lights up. Um, we have got more shoes. Like I said, everything has to be completely planned out. Um, it has lunch boxes and backpacks and all kinds of stuff. And I don't even have all the backpacks. But I have some really cute ones that we're showcasing. Okay, not all of this pile is for the TV segment because I see that we still have Cold craft potties over here <laughs> and some games. But um, this is kind of what goes on behind the scenes of planning for a TV segment is gathering all of the different stuff that I need and making sure I have everything, making sure the kids know what they are doing and making sure that um, we are ready to go, which I am in love with my daughter's outfit for the, the TV show. It is this really cute jean jacket, which you guys know I've been looking for a cute jean jacket. This one clearly doesn't come in, in my size, but I'm um, really cute and She's this really cute dress. Like, this is what I want to wear to do the segment. And yet, it's crew cut, so it doesn't come in mom's size. Um, this would be perfect for me, but instead my tween daughter is the one that gets to wear all the cool stuff. Isn't that totally typical of what happens? The kids get to wear all the cool stuff and the moms just have to scrounge for something. <laughs> I see. We can come play. Okay, I just want to say that we are got have gotten to the point of summer where we're bored with each other. First of all, we don't wear clothes anymore. So here is what we have gotten to. We've gotten to the point of summer where we don't really get dressed in the morning. Um, we don't know what day it is. Is it Tuesday, Thursday? We have no idea what day it is. And the kids are kind of getting bored with just hanging out at the house. So now every single morning from the time they open their eyes, you know what the question is? Is... Can I call my friend? Can my friend come over? Yeah. Every single day, they just want it to be like a big frat party here. And as you can see, she's wanting to call her friend. So, Me too. And, well, they all do. They all, they literally all want a friend all at the same time. Today we had to get out of the house, so we decided to go to Carowinds. And you guys Ooh. gonna have, we're gonna have lots of fun, right? What's the first ride you're going on? Intimidator. He wants to go on the Intimidator. I really wanna go on the Fury. And what ride do you wanna go on? He doesn't know yet. I bet you will pick one as soon as we get there. Oh, well, that was the fury. So we're gonna head in. Let's go. It's a penis character. Yes. Perfect. You guys have a great day. You just like to hang by any character. You don't care who it is, do you? There's a guy inside the suit. Oh. Ah. This is for moms who have to schlep their kids to the Carowinds. At least give them a Starbucks now. Oh boy. Barely made it. I made it. For the Intimidator. Are you scared? Are you scared? Are you crying like a baby? Are you scared? Fast, fast. You don't want fast, fast. Since this guy is too little for the Intimidator, he sits out here and plays Pokemon in the Intimidator sample seat. Do you think you should be able to go on it? Or do you think it's too scary? Or do you think Pokemon matters more? Alright, how was the Intimidator? Great! 
How was he? Was that his first time on the Intimidator? Yes. Now that he's 54 inches. Yes? Yep. Alright. He loved it. We had, um, they took a picture and both of our hands were up. Really? Yeah. You didn't even hold on? No. Again, he is too short for the Nighthawk, so he's going to just try out the seat just to, to see what it's like a little bit. Always waiting for brother and sister to get up a ride. Even when you are 48 inches, there are still a ton of roller coaster rides that you cannot ride at Carowinds, which means we are on the hunt for one that he can. A lot of them are 52 or 54 inches. We found a ride that's 48 inches. You're too little for this. Keep your arms down. So little, yet so big. That's our week at a glance. <laughs> I guess Carowinds was the highlight of it. The playing in the rain was pretty fun for them as well. Um, but that was our week at a glance. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you want me to keep making these weekly vlogs. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yes, we hit 100,000 subscribers. So thank you. Thank everybody for helping us get to 100,000. That's a really big goal for us. And now we are on our way to a million subscribers. So that's it, guys. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.